Good evening and welcome to the Whiskey Lover Society with me, Gert Retief. And tonight we are looking at something special, something that I actually bought, uh, I think about three, four years ago. And um, this was a something that a friend bought for me at a very special shop in Vienna. And of course, uh, he only paid about 68 euros for this whiskey. I was quite excited to see it at this um, good price. When I look online then, I think it was about 120 euros. I think it's way more now. Um, I haven't looked um, after the video. Of course, I will go do some research on it. And I will tell you maybe somewhere here what it's going to cost you now for this bottle. But um, this is something that has been standing here on my shelf for quite a long time. Always waiting for a special opportunity to take it out. And of course, um, it is uh, the ceramic bottle um, and you don't really know what it looks like. So I was always, always curious to see what it, what it looks like. Um, I do love the bottle. Uh, you can see it's a little bit dusty. It's been standing open for quite a long time. Um, nice ceramic bottle. Um, I do like it, but the only thing is it's ceramic. You can't see the liquid on the inside. It, and of course when you open it you can't see how much you have left until you've filled the whole bottle but of course I haven't opened this one um, yet um, so I was always looking for a perfect opportunity I do love the presentation box it is absolutely fantastic um, I like the, um, the motif of all the flowers uh, the crowns uh, the lion in the, in the inside um, absolutely fantastic but of course I haven't opened the bottle yet so I had a nice opportunity to taste this one um, still waiting for that opportunity to open this one the special occasion so I do have a couple of bottles that I am waiting for that special occasion one of these bottles that I will be opening on my subscribers when I reach 1000 might be this bottle and of course that is the Glentronic 18 uh, this is the 2019 bottle looking forward to opening this or it might be the uh, Glen Farkless um, 25 year old I'm still not sure which one it's going to be but I've got some ways to go to get to the 1000 I think we are now at 600 and almost 670 so quite a way to go but anyway, on to tonight's whiskey. The Royal Salute, 21 year old, blended scotch. I'm not going to make the video too long. I'm just going to give you a little bit of information. Um, I do, don't have quite a lot on the box itself. So you have the 21 year old Salute. Um, at the back, they have a little bit of writing about the Royal Salute was created to mark the coronation of Queen Elizabeth uh, II and has been the official partner of all uh, ceremonial royal gun salutes that fired from the Tower of London and they give you a little bit of uh, background information with regards to the, uh, the carefully watched over by the royal salute vault blah 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 and um, yeah so not a lot of information on the whiskey itself it is bottled at 40% ABV so uh, a low proof whiskey it is a blended whiskey and they call it the, the signature signature blend of course it does cost i think in the region of 140 150 but i'm not sure i will definitely have a look and give you that information um so the first time that i actually tasted this one was about four days ago on my way back to brussels i had a fantastic experience with emirates airline i got a nice upgrade from business class to first class so it was absolutely fantastic and i was so looking forward to that the first one of course was the johnny walker blue label I haven't tried it in my life so i was quite looking forward i put the video here i did do a review um was a little bit disappointed but go have a look and see what the disappointment was all about so tonight um, I'm going to try the 21 year old um, Royal Salute uh, and um, I'm looking forward to it. Now at 36,000 feet things did change a little bit especially for the Johnny Walker Blue label. There was a difference, uh, less smell to it um, so a little bit of a change so, so I have to of course try uh, 
both of the whiskies that they had on offer on the first class. And of course, the, the other one that they did have was the Royal Sudden. So on the plane, 36,000 feet was absolutely fantastic for me. I loved it. And um, I had to get a little bit of a sample of that, of course, to take home. And they graciously gave me a, a generous sample. So tonight I'm going to try it on the ground to see if there's a little bit of a difference and um, give my feedback on it and do I like it or not. So on the nose, cheers. Well, let's start with the color. Um, I don't find any information. I haven't looked yet. Um, after the video, I might go look to see if there's any color added. Um, no idea, 21 year old, um, it does have a nice golden color to it, going into a little bit of an amber color in, uh, in it. So the color wise, I, it is nice, if I do add color, no idea, 40% ABV, so of course there is some huge chill filtration. Um, but it is a nice, a little bit of an oiliness forming, long legs appearing on the glass. Um, slow, long, thin legs coming out of a little bit of a beading on the top. So on the nose, cheers. Mm, that is so nice. Now the first thing, I've, I don't get the alcohol. 40% ABV, even with a little bit of an agitation, I don't get the alcohol on it. There's a faint hint of the alcohol, but the first thing, what I do get is this lovely, sweet, vanilla, caramel toffee notes coming out. It reminds me a little bit of a butterscotch. A little bit of a caramel butter popcorn note. There's definitely some dried fr fruit influences. That little bit of a raisins, raisins coming out. I get a little bit of an apple note. Um, a nice fresh apple that you just cut open. What I also do get is a little bit of a cherry note. Um, there's cocktail cherries, the maraschino cherries, that sweetness of it, um, with a little bit of a funky note from the cherry. Mm, this is absolutely fantastic. I really like the nose of it. It is um, quite complex, sweet, and I can just keep on nosing it. But of course we need to taste it as well. So on the taste, cheers. Absolutely a dangerous, sweet, lovely, complex um, whiskey. This is something that is definitely going to get you into trouble. And I think once you have tried this one, hmm, you're going to have to buy the second bottle. And soon you're going to buy the third bottle. So I think it is a good time to start opening this one. Um, um, I will have to find a special occasion. And of course, anything can be designated as a special occasion. Hmm, let me just try again. So that sweetness is there. That little bit of a toffee note, a little bit of a caramel note, a little bit of the vanilla coming out. There's a little bit of a nuttiness. The alcohol is, is there, but it is still very low for me. Um, there's a hint of a spiciness in it and a little bit of an oak in it. And I think after 21 years on oak, um, we do expect to find the oak, but the balance is fantastic. But the balance between the sweetness and the balance between the oak, that spiciness, a little bit of a bitter note, absolutely fantastic. Let me just make sure. Alcohol wise, um, it's, it's, it's perfect for me. This is something that I would definitely recommend. If you want to, if you like the sweet ones, there's something with a little bit of that sherry cask influence, um, the sweetness of it, the dried fruit notes, um, the uh, uh, a little bit of an orange note coming out, maybe something like a little bit of a uh, marmalade, but not an overly, overly bitter marmalade. There's a nice sweetness to it coming out as well. So all the nice fruity flavors are definitely there. And my, it, a little bit of an oiliness also in the beginning, but after you, after you swallowed it, it becomes a little bit on the dry side and it's begging you for a little bit more. And I think I'm going to appreciate a little bit more. Dangerous. This is, this is so drinkable. This is something that you're definitely not going to put down. Um, what I also did find, 
pour it a little bit in advance. Give it a little bit of time in the glass, a little bit of oxidization does make a little bit of a difference. It gives a little bit more flavor in the end. Mmm, really nice. Now I get a little bit of a, a peach note. Or maybe even going into a little bit of a, 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 a pear note as well. And a little bit of a dried peach note. Absolutely fantastic. So definitely a big yes for me. Um, get the bottle. <laughs> maybe open it up. Don't be like me. Um, so, you know, some of my bottles, it feels a little bit special. It feels like I just don't want to open it now. I have so many open bottles. I think about, I've got about 20, 25 open bottles. And sometimes I feel like maybe finish them first. And then you start with the, I think about 18 bottles that has not been opened yet. And of course, this is one of them. So, but I think at some stage, I'm definitely going to open up this one. I'm not going to be worried that I'm going to open it and I'm not going to enjoy it. Um, some of my bottles, my rare bottles, I opened them. And then I was a little bit disappointed in it. So for me, I'm not going to be disappointed in opening this one. And this is definitely what I would love to share with my friends. So that is me on the Royal Salute 21 year old. Absolutely fantastic. Buy it, try it. If you can get a sample um, from your online store, perhaps, or maybe even from Emirates, uh, lovely people absolutely an experience of a lifetime to flying first class like a real gentleman so that's me um remember to like and subscribe you've come this far also um leave a comment what do you think about the royal salute um is there another blended whiskey that you would recommend especially the high premium um, blended whiskies which one would you recommend i try next so thank you very much and I see you next time. Cheers.